Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video. And today we're going to be talking about whether we are in a bear market or a bull market. So a lot of people have had this question recently. And if you guys are not already subscribed, make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on and like the video before we get started. So like I said, a lot of people have having the same kind of question, you know, bear market, bull market, where are we going next? Is it going down? Is it going up? Uh, should I sell? Should I buy? So these are all great questions. And unfortunately, we don't always have the exact answer. So do remember before we get started, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Always do your own research. So without further ado, let's jump into some of the different articles and tweets. So we have a lot of people asking these kind of questions. This is a correction, not a bear market. Have a nice day. Congratulations. Uh, you survived the 48 hour bear market. Manipulated crash, not a bear market. We have just to be clear, I do not think 60K was the top far from it because I do not see the kind of of transactions that normally happen after an all-time high red dots in fact i think we are just a couple of months out of a bear market blue dots and yes this is on-chain view fits s2fx so we actually see you know a lot of people thinking you know this was a manipulated crash which we all I mean, if you guys watch the Wyckoff distribution, how it plays out, um, this guy did a great job. If you guys haven't checked this video out, definitely do so. Um, he talks about how, obviously, it pretty much was the Wyckoff events and phases, you know, point for point. And it was uh, obviously a coordinated, uh, really, effort from uh, inst big institutions really taking advantage of re us retail investors. So it's crazy to, you know, cra it's crazy to think, you know, if we would have saw this, you know, back in the PSI or PSY or the BC stage, we would have actually known, you know, that this was going to play out the exact way it did. So it's crazy to think, you know, a lot of people could have had exact numbers and exact ideas of where, you know, this really the Bitcoin price could have went to. Um, but it's crazy to also say that, you know, this is the end of Bitcoin. So obviously that's not the case. A lot of people under not really understanding where we're going next though. And that's perfectly fine because it is hard to understand exactly we, where we are really going to play out or, you know, go next. So going into um, really see that we are going to be struggling around this $30,000 Bitcoin. If we take a look at Bitcoin, I do have a couple little things I want to look at here. If we take a look at the last year alone, we are going to struggle around this thirty to 40,000 Bitcoin. Uh, you know, I think we if we can stabilize above 50,000, that's great for us. Uh, but a lot of people think, you know, based on the Wyckoff events, they he actually talks about it as well. Um, you know, he thinks that it could easily, you know, play out either way. He thinks it could go up and it could stay above 50,000, could continue resuming on that, uh, really that path to 70K, or it could go straight down and it could stay down around this $30,000 mark even go to maybe 28k uh it's just one of those things where it's going to be hard to really tell but we have a different a couple different articles i want to take a look at and uh kind of give you my reasoning for what i think is going to happen in the next couple weeks and months so we see bear market analyst weighs in after bitcoin drops 50 percent from its 65k all-time high this is on coin telegraph they make great articles if you guys want to check them out analysts have mixed op uh, opinions now that bitcoin price trades 40 percent from its all-time high XO Alpha CIO David gives his take on what happened and what's next for BTC. So this is crazy to see. You know, a lot of people viewing this obviously a thirteen thousand or thirteen and a half thousand views on this. You know, bear market question mark. So a lot of people wondering the same. You know, same thing as you guys right now. Are we in a bear market? Are we in a bull market? They have they have answers, but they're not one hundred percent sure on their answers. And that's exactly what you've been seeing is a lot of people like to think certain things, but they don't have a reason to back it up. So on April 14th, Bitcoin price hit a new all-time high of 64850 And obviously, like we said, the Wyckoff, um, that was just part of the entirety of the institutions playing us, like we said in this video. Uh, it's a great video to watch. Like I said, guys, should definitely check it out. It does talk about this. Um, and this was like, what, three... This was, I guess, May 19th that he made this video, but he talked about it actually like, you know, two or three weeks, I believe, before this actually took place, um, just showing that they really did play to the uh, the graph specifically. And, uh, you know, you could have known exactly where it was going to play out this entire time. So, like I said, guys, it was a uh, it was basically if we go here manipulated, it was a manipulated crash. And I think, you know, that's exactly what they're doing. I think they could continue to take advantage of it. And there's a couple different ways they could do this. We could e easily see it, you know, pump back up. You know, they bought they buy the dip. Uh, you know, it was around 20,000. They could easily buy that dip or they could continue to. Uh, you know, see, play with it. They could continue to see it right around that thirty to forty thousand, or maybe even fifty thousand mark, and then bring it right back down by then, and then play play it up to the top. So we'll see what happens. Obviously, either way, if you're holding long term, you're going to be in a good spot because uh, even if we are in a a bearish market because of manipulation for the next three months. It really doesn't matter as long as we get back to, you know, higher prices. I do still think we're on pace to make, you know, maybe even a $100,000 Bitcoin by the end of the year or at the end of the bull market, I should say. Um, but, you know, it really does depend on uh, where Bitcoin's really going to go based on obviously uh, big institutional 
players out there making big trades and you know that's hard you really unfortunately you know you can do all the ta you want to do uh but unfortunately if you do all the technical analysis you want to do and uh you know there's big players out there that are able to manipulate the market as well as they are um you just really not much you can do so we're going to jump into the next article it talks about hong kong regulators set to ban retail bitcoin trading only millionaires will be able to allow, are allowed to trade bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in hong kong if the fstb proposal is passed by the city's legislator uh, so this is bad obviously um you know you need you need retail traders you need uh you know crypto to not be banned in hong kong obviously this has happened many many times in china we've had you know bans I'd say probably five or six times at this point, really. Uh, China keeps banning, you know, cryptocurrency and Hong Kong banning, uh, you know, or setting regulators or regu yeah, setting regulators to uh, ban retail Bitcoin trading is very, very bad. Obviously, just giving in uh, institutions and millionaires the uh, advantages over, you know, retail traders. That's just not what we want to see. And this is exactly what could end up, uh, you know, getting a lot of FUD out there. Um, and exactly, if you guys don't know FUD, FUD is fear, uncertainty, and doubt. I know a lot of people don't know exactly all these terminologies, so I'll try to help you guys out. But FUD is definitely something that has been coming out a lot. And exactly when, you know, all that FUD came out about China, you know, banning uh, crypto again, as well as Elon Musk's thing, uh, all this stuff really pushed the, uh, the FUD as well as a perfect timing really for institutions to drop their Bitcoin and really take that market down as really as quickly as possible and make as much money as possible. So it's crazy to think, you know, Unfortunately, if we see too much more information like this one right here, I would be worried that we are going to be dropping down to about a 20K Bitcoin. I think that's definitely possible. Uh, so if you see too many more big articles or news that is FUD, uh, if you're holding long term, it doesn't matter. You can just hang on. But if we do get, like I said, if we get too many, I uh, do expect, you know, big drops to take place because I do think, you know, we are getting played right now by the institutions and we are going to see, uh, you know, a lot of movement in the next couple weeks and months. And I think it's going to be right around this 30 to 40 K mark, 30 to maybe 45 K. Uh, but if we get, if we really break out above about 55 K, I think we're fairly good. Uh, if we break below, you know, 30 K, I don't think we're going to go much lower than 20 K. A lot of people talking about 7 K, which is pretty unbelievable to me. I don't think we're going to break below 20 K. Obviously institutions, have a lot of power and they can make a lot of fear happen and uh, quickly a lot of people will trade and you know sell their bitcoin at low prices but realistically i think 20k is going to be our you know our our lowest we can go uh, about 55k if we can break out of that we would be in good shape i think you know this is going to be a continuing thing where institutions will play us and i think that's exactly what you need to know is they want money and the way to get money is to pump that price eventually back up. So if you just hold on, you will be getting back to that price. Just don't put in your life savings, stuff that you don't need immediately, and you will get that money back. So it's one of those things where just be patient. Obviously, don't put money in that you can't afford to lose. And then, uh, you know, you'll you'll get your money back. It's one of those things, like I said, they have to pump the, the price eventually back up so that they can get their money out at high prices. And that's when you can either take out or, you know, take profits at the very least. So that's just my thoughts on really, are we in a bear market? Are we in a bull market? Unfortunately, we have no way of knowing. I think we're still in that bull run. Uh, just obviously, you know, manipulation is taking place kind of in the middle of the bull run. And that's exactly what's slowing us down from the continuous bull run. So we'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks and months. Should be very, very interesting. We'll continue to keep you guys up to date with price predictions and so so what and so forth. So you guys will kind of be able to keep a track on where we're going. And, you know, I'll try to keep you guys up to date. But like I said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like the video. I'll see you guys all in the next one.